first time I've been to Uman. I didn't even like realize what's going on, where am I going, where am I heading, like what, what, what is it, where is the grave of Rabbi Nachman, like I was very uh, disoriented, like very lost. And then I found myself in that area that they said that the grave of Rabbi Nachman is at, so I entered and then I saw like people gathering into the center, so I also went towards that center and there I saw the grave of Rabbi Nachman, so like like everyone are swimming among the people, I also swam toward the Tziyun, to the grave of Rabbi Nachman. And right when I reached the Tziyun and I put my hands up on the Tziyun, the grave of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, suddenly I heard a voice of people screaming, the tzaddik is coming, the tzaddik is coming, like, the righteous man is coming, the righteous man is coming. And I just like arrived to the Tziyun, like I just touched the Tziyun. So I... I didn't realize what's going on. Like who? Like Rabenu? Like what do you mean? I didn't know any rabbis. I didn't know no names of righteous people. Like I, like yesterday I was secular. Now I was in Uman. Like what's going on here? No one knows. And like okay, the righteous man is coming. The righteous man. And I'm looking around, what's going on? I see a stream of people creating a certain path for the Moarosh to arrive to the Tzion, and I didn't know who he was, nothing about him. And he's arriving to the Tzion, and they're like moving people to the sides, and I'm standing in the first line, because I was on the Tzion, and they like cleared the area for him to, to enter. And he's praying, and everyone are saying, please, Omarosh, pray for my wife, please, Omarosh, that I'm going to get married. Like Everyone are asking him to pray for them for like needs, for their needs. And I, like any monkey see, monkey do, started to ask things for my wife to be healthy, everything that we, that we needed back then. And then one of the students said, you don't need to ask the Moarosh, he can hear your prayers, Divine Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, just pray and he will uplift your prayers, he will pray for you. Suddenly there was quiet all around, everyone are tuned and listening, and he's praying and like everyone are like, in their hearts doing it Buddha Duyot and praying to Hashem and on and on. And then this amazing man is like stopping his prayer and looking all around, smiling to everyone, very shiny, very impressive, handsome portrait, white beard, blue eyes, like all like shining and starting to walk away. And you feel like I felt like everyone else around I, I'm missing the opportunity, like a great righteous man here, very impressive personality standing here like uh, something and he's going already. I didn't know what to do. Everyone is saying, please, oh my Lord, pray for me for this, pray for me for that. And I didn't know what to do. And it just burst out of my mouth. And I just said, just look at us. His look was so impressive. His face was so impressive. He stopped. He heard what I said. He stopped. He turned towards me, only towards me, walked back to me, touched my face, kissed his hand like that, and told me, I'm looking at you always. That's what he said. And he left. And some went with him. And all the rest that left are all looking at me. And I'm standing like that, like a Hanukkah candle in the, in the middle of Rabbeinu's Tzion in Uman. Everyone are looking at me. Oh, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. And and like, I didn't even realize what happened to me. I took a few steps back. I sat on a chair. I had to relax from this like very, very powerful experience for myself. And uh, and that's it. Bezat Hashem, you shall see wonders.